You've probably heard the term breed like rabbits. Well, it's for a reason. Rabbits are some of the most delicate creatures you'll ever know, often viewed as a mouth-watering meal for most predators, and yet their biggest defense mechanism in a world full of tragedy is their ability to reproduce. So what happens to these cute and fluffy creatures before they even get a chance to step foot out into the world? Please subscribe, like, and comment, and let's hop right into this video. Now, in the animal kingdom, there are some pretty crazy things that happen to animal offspring. Heck, even humans have done some unthinkable crimes. But nothing beats the wild rabbit burying their babies alive and sometimes eating them. Yep, you heard that correctly. And you thought rabbits were herbivores? So what would be the reason for this? Isn't it cruel? Wouldn't it suffocate them to bury them? And why ingest them? Well, it turns out rabbits bury their young to protect them, not hurt them. But as for eating them, we'll get into that in the second half of this video. A maternal instinct means that mothers would do almost anything for their kids. And rabbits are no different. Baby bunnies, also known as kits, are extremely vulnerable to predators. So if the babies were just left out in the open, well, they'd be goners. But can the babies survive underground that long without access to airflow? The mama rabbit makes sure she doesn't cover the babies with extremely tight soil. There are small air pockets so that air can still flow and the babies can still breathe. So how does this work exactly? It turns out baby rabbits are completely odorless, which makes detecting them very difficult. The only way a predator would be able to notice the babies would be if the mother was present. So mothers try to draw as little attention as possible around her offspring. This is why mama rabbits only visit their nests approximately once per day. This might sound neglectful to us humans, as we couldn't imagine leaving human children alone that long, but in this case, it works. So this is where eating her babies comes in. There are several reasons why a rabbit would eat her kits. Usually this will happen at the time of birth. One of them is she knows that a dead kit will produce an odor, therefore exposing her and her nest to predators. It's actually incredibly smart and strategic. Other reasons include the baby was a stillborn, the mom was eating the afterbirth and the placenta and became confused. She ate the baby thinking it was part of the afterbirth. She was left drained and devoid of energy following the birth of her kits. And finally, the baby was weak and the weakest is less likely to survive. Rabbits can be very Darwinian in their approach to motherhood. Birds of prey and other predators pass right by a rabbit nest without even knowing it's there. Rabbits are very good at camouflaging their nests. These nests are usually created by the American cottontail. The mother will pull fur from her own body to create an insulating nest, in addition to adding soil and other debris over it. Using her own fur is what helps regulate the temperature of the babies. And because the kits are so fragile, any fluctuation in temperature can be fatal. Now, the wild European rabbit, a different species to the cottontail, will actually take things a step further and bury her babies even deeper underground in a complex tunnel system called a warren. The rabbit warren is a series of interconnected underground tunnels in which colonies of rabbits live. Creating a tunnel so deep underground is one of the best ways for the European wild rabbit to protect themselves. The burrow has many entries and exits so that the rabbits can escape and fool their predators. 
Rabbits are aware that just having one way in and out will trap them in case they are discovered. The Warren is a maze that is actually quite political and hierarchical. The European wild rabbits operate within a colony system, and each room in the Warren is designed for different purposes. One might be a nursing room, another might be a resting area or a place to socialize. The rabbits establish themselves in a pecking order. Never underestimate the cleverness of rabbits. This is why if you find a rabbit nest or burrow, it's so important not to disturb it. Moving the contents around and touching the babies will cause the mother to think it isn't safe to be nearby and could result in her abandoning them. So don't panic if you find babies that seem abandoned. They are not. Remember, the mother only comes and feeds her babies about once a day, usually on a crepuscular schedule. This can be around the hours of dawn and dusk, when most predators are asleep. Then, during the day, when predators are scavenging for food, she'll go into hiding. The mother's milk is so rich and nutritious that it will fill her babies until her next visit. But despite how strategic the survival instincts of a wild rabbit are, 40% of them will die before their first birthday. They're lucky if they make it to their second year. That's why rabbits have to breed constantly and make tons of babies. It's the only way they can ensure the survival of their species. A rabbit can get pregnant as early as three months old, and once they reach sexual maturity, they can copulate once a month every year for the rest of their lifespan. Once she gives birth, she can get pregnant immediately after. So let's fast forward to 2023, and you have the domestic pet rabbit, a descendant of the wild European rabbit. And even with domestication, some of their instincts have not changed. They still build nests with their fur and only visit their babies once a day for feeding time. But the childhood of domestic bunnies is still terrible, just in a different way, as they're constantly met with a potential death sentence. There aren't enough homes for the amount of kits born every day. Breeders will breed them for profit, sport, or meat, and purchasers are often uneducated. Additionally, many litters are accidental when folks realize they have a male and a female living together. So after the novelty wears off, the bunnies wind up abandoned at the shelter, where they might spend their life behind bars or get euthanized. Sometimes pet bunnies even get dumped outside, and as bunnies who have never lived out in the wild, this is an immediate death sentence. This is why it's so important to get your pet bunnies spayed and neutered. This helps control the overpopulation of rabbits and lessens the problem of their mass abandonment. And remember guys to always adopt and don't shop. Thanks for tuning in. Let me know what you thought of this video in the comments below and we'll see you all soon.